All right, hello boys and girls. We are going to get started our day with morning work. So you've already watched your morning message video. And so we are starting in our morning workbook. So please grab your morning workbook and a pencil and I will meet you over there. I'm gonna go ahead and get our camera turned on. Alrighty, there we go. And so we are on page 23. Okay, let's bring it down and see if we can get a little closer. Okay, so it says read the sentence and complete it using a pro pronoun from the word box. So we have hers, theirs, and mine to choose from. So number one, Holly thinks the mug is hers, but she doesn't own it. Molly thinks the mug is theirs, but she doesn't own it. Molly thinks the mug is mine, but she doesn't own it. I think that we're going to have to go with the word hers. She thinks it's hers, but she doesn't own it. Jamal, number two, Jamal gave his old baseball bat to me, so now it's theirs or now it's mine. I believe it would be mine. Okay, our seats are here. So theirs must be over there. Alrighty. Now, going over to our subtraction page. So we're probably going to need a little scratch paper. I'm going to grab a piece of scratch paper for myself. All right. And let's do the first one. 203 minus 123. Okay, stack them so that the largest number is on top. We always start on this corner, so it's the opposite of reading. When we read, we read from left to right. In math, we're going to go from the smallest place value to the largest place value. So for our ones, 3 minus 3 is 0. You have three and you take three away, you have zero. I can't take two out of nothing. So I'm going to go over next door and I'm going to borrow this hundred from them and break it up so that I can have 10 tens. 10 minus two is eight. One minus one is zero. So our answer is 80. 532 is the biggest number, minus 418. Starting on the right, I cannot take eight things out of two things, but I can go next door and get a group of 10 and break this into a 10 and two ones. 12 minus eight is four, two minus one is one, and five minus four is one, so our answer is 114. Okay, the next one is 744 minus 527, starting on the right in the ones. Seven, take, taking out of four, we can't do, so we're going to borrow a group of 10. So we take one, we leave three, and then we're going to have 14 here. 14 minus seven is seven. Three minus two is one. Seven minus five is two. So we have 217. Okay, the next one, 648 minus 345. 8 minus 5 is 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. 6 minus 3 is 3. So our answer is 303. Okay, fold this piece of paper over. Let's go to this one. 876. Minus 651. Another thing to keep track of is to make sure you write the correct um, number. Sometimes people can be in a hurry and instead write 867 instead of 76. And then, of course, you'll have a different answer. 6 minus 1 is 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. So 225. Number 10, 374 minus 247. 
I can't take seven out of four, but I can break up a group of 10 and make this 14. 14 minus seven is seven. Six minus four is two. Three minus two is one. Our answer is 127. And then last one, 869 minus 514. Okay, nine minus four is five. Six minus one is five. Eight minus five is three. So our answer is 355. All right, check your work. Make sure you have all of your answers in there. And then we're going to go down to the bottom. Simeo's family was driving to the beach. They got sandwiches at a deli. The lady at the deli started talking to Simeo's mom. Now you all watch out for those big waves, the woman said. All beaches have waves, Simeo thought. A little while later, the family was at the beach. They put a picnic blanket down. There were other families there too. Simeo noticed that they had their blank laid their blankets farther away from the water. Do you think we should move our blanket? He asked his dad. But before his dad answered, a huge wave came crashing down on the blanket. It was soaked and all of the sandwiches washed away. <laughs> Such a bummer. Number 12, what, uh, uh, excuse me, not what, write a prediction for what will happen next. Okay, so what do you think they're going to do next? I think... They will move their wet blanket back so it can dry and they will wait to eat when they leave the beach. Okay, that's what I think. You may have written down something completely different and that's totally fine. Number 13, were there clues for what might happen in the story? What were they? Yes. The clues were the deli lady telling them to watch out and all of the other people were further back. Okay. Oh, let me move this so that you can see it all. Okay, the clues were the deli lady telling them to watch out and all of the other people were further back. So there were two clues right there. Go ahead and pause if you need to, for any reason, if you need to um, write down anything I've written down. You should have your own answers though, because you're supposed to finish that on your own, remember? All right, so for, to, for today, today's Wednesday, for today's work, we're going to be on page 24. Let's go over what you're going to be working on, and we will correct this tomorrow. Read the sentence, then rewrite it. That's a big one. Replace the underlined noun with a pronoun. Okay. Nora swims to the diving board. What's a pronoun we could put for the diving board? Drake and I study together. What could we write? One word we could write to change Drake and I. Number three, mom will take Paul and Cam to the park. What word could we use to re replace Paul and Cam? Now, not only do you have to give a new word, a pronoun, but you need to write the sentence over with the new pronoun. Okay, so what did you change? And then write the new sentence, with the new change. Number four, solve the problem, show your work. So that's what this big space here is for you to do your work on it. No scratch paper because this is the scratch paper. Last summer, Gina spent 360 hours playing outside. 
Lindsay spent 264 hours playing outside. What is the difference between how many hours Gina and Lindsay played outside? Okay, it doesn't say how many hours altogether did they play outside? Nope, it says, what's the difference between Gina spent more time than Lindsay? How much more time did Gina spend? Okay, and numbers five and six, we're gonna do with the reading. It says, read the text and then answer the items. Write a prediction for what Jax, hey Jax, look your name's in today's story. Write a prediction for what Jax will do during his speech about earthworms. What will happen if Jax doesn't pay attention to what his teacher said? All right, so let's go ahead and read the story about Jax. Jax, I don't know if you've ever done anything with earthworms, but how fun. It's fun when we have our names in the stories. Jax is working on a school project. It's about earthworms. He is going to speak in front of his whole class. While Jax is giving his speech, he will show the class photos of earthworms. The last time Jax gave a speech, he made some mistakes, but it was okay because his teacher told him how he could do better next time. During his last speech, Jax looked down at his feet instead of looking at his classmates. He mumbled instead of speaking clearly. Jax also forgot to create a poster. He really wants his speech about earthworms to be better. <laughs> 